Hello, hello everyone, it's me, Justin Simmer here. Welcome back to another Sims tutorial. And today I'm going to show you guys how to install the HQ mod for your Sims 3 game. So, there is about four HQ mods that I found. Um, the first one is from um, Datch's HQ mod. Um, it's on a blog spot. This one, this HQ um, mod is called the HD mod, which is patched for 1.66 and it's been updated since this month on the 16th on this year now you can find um, I'll put the links in the description you can find it's right here so here it is um, I'll put this link down below in the description it'll be the first one in the HQ my list um, so you can either um, but you need your game update to either get this one so if you if you didn't patch your game yet so I wouldn't recommend getting this one so yeah and it also tells you how to install it. Um, it's really easy. All you have to do is just download it from here. You can get the Mayor version, or you can just get the um, HD mod right here. And this one, you, it's not changeable. This one is the four 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 zero nine six um, graphics rules file. And how to get to your access file is by going to your computer. Um, Ace, uh, not Acer. Um, wherever you install the Sims 3, not no documents, um, mines and program files, times 86, electronic arts, and um, if you ever got, if you ever downloaded it into your Origin, then it'll be here. But I didn't download my Into the Future in Origin, only got it on um, CD, so it'll be in electronic arts. And the the one that you recently installed, which should be the one that you just um, changed, so. Mine will be into the future. Everyone should be into the future, I guess. <laughs> then you go to game, bin, and then you change this one. So you're going to back this one up, copy it, and then you're going to make two folders on your desktop, which is what well, the first one's called Original Graphics Rule, and the, the one that you got from the file right here. But this one, I'm going to go ahead and delete this one because this one is from a different site. So yeah. And. You're gonna go ahead and make a new folder, and then I'm gonna type this one HD mod, um, and you can rename it, let's say Datches, I guess, um, because that's the mod here. And we're gonna go drag it right there. And you're gonna save the backup for the original one that you copy. You're gonna paste it in here. Um, let's see. Well, yeah, you know, you're gonna go back to your bin, copy this. Yeah, copy this as a backup. No, delete it copy it put this one in the original yeah original paste it and then if it pops up like this don't worry about this it's just me copy and paste it and you're gonna keep this one as a backup for if you want to change it out and you can just change it and then the HD mod which we're gonna be downloading right now you're gonna download it it'll be popping up on this site um, you're gonna free download uh, let's see and just wait for it to download and all that fun stuff like that and yeah, and once it's done opening, you're going to open it up and just drag it into here. And then once it's done doing that, um, you're going to go ahead and, um, let's see here, go to your, you're going to open up, if it opens up its window, all right, you're going to drag it the, the HQ mod and put it in here, close this up, well, you know, copy it, um, and then paste it in there and just say replace, you know, you know how it does. So the second HQ mod we have is AT AWT's um, HQ modification helper. This one, this is the one I use. And if you follow me on Twitter, you'll see a picture of I said like my settings on this um, application, and it's easy to install. All you have to do is just install this Renar, and it'll tell you how to install it and patch it in case you want to patch your thing, and it'll show you uh, tell you what you need to require for your to work and all that. And then yeah, and that's what it looks like the icon. You can click download, and then it'll open up at Affly. That's if it does. You're gonna wait five seconds. Um, you're gonna click continue or skip add, and then yeah, it's gonna open up to a different site. You're gonna click on this one, this folder here. And you're gonna open, click this one right here, and you're gonna wait five seconds again, and the download will be downloading. And then once it's done downloading, it will open up as that. I have like two, three three versions in there. It's gonna open up like this. You can read all this but you know you don't have to. Open up this and it's gonna open up like this guys. Don't get 
This is how mine is, and then if you want to turn on the HQ, you just turn on application, and you can lower up your settings. Just to miss this, that's if you have like a lower computer, and you could just, you know, that's for high quality, that's for low quality. You make up your mind. That's the cheap. You make sure you have your uh, SIM detail on high and your Texas detail on high, because this will not work if you don't have it. Both of those things on high in your options menu. So. If I would recommend if you have low end computer it would just be this these two right here, okay? And if you have a higher computer you can use these two. I recommend this one and this one if you're on high quality. Okay. And um yeah, so once you're done and choosing what um texture file you want, you're gonna click set texture limit. Say texture limit set and pixel successfully and then do that. Then it will be working, and then after you're gonna turn, if you don't want it on, just turn it off, and then close up the application, and that's it. And you don't have to have the program open. That's just you know, just don't have it open, okay? Then the third HQ mod is the S Clubs HQ mod. Um, this one is uh, it's like the same as H Datch's HQ mod, but you know, it's the same thing, and I'm not gonna. This is the HQ mod. You go can go for different versions of patches that you have in your game installed. Um, yeah, you can just download them. The recent one that I you should get is this one. If you haven't um, download um, download the patch yet to patch up your Sims game, you should get the version of HQ mod 1.63. Skip ad and it's gonna should start downloading. Open it up and then you get what uh, either version you want. Um, it's the same thing you can go with that but get this one for a good quality and then you know just do the same thing as you know what you did with this one here but you can name it as um s club instead if you're not installing datches so yeah make sure you have this one backed up and i'll pay a file uh down link for this one in case y'all guys either be that i'm not saying like if you're stupid and if you like delete this like the original one and then you can't get it back then guess what? I'll just put this one up a download for the original one in case if you delete this one forever and you can't get it back. So I'll just put it up a download in case for backup. So you know, I would help you out there. And then the last HQ mod we have is um, this one I found and it's really awesome. If you have Supernatural, this is expansion pack. Um, I was gonna make a separate tutorial on how to install this one, but it has an HQ mod in it, and it, it plus it has a surprise, like another additional thing to it. So what this one does, it patches. Well, you know, if you um, if you have it patched up, then you overwrite this file. So whatever, okay. Um, but this HQ mod, this one, look, I'll show you. Make sure you have your sim detail on high, the texture detail on high. Most that's it for his computer. Well, he or she, computer and. Just make sure you have your SIM detail on high and your texture detail on high, okay? And I'll show you how to install it, but I'm going to show you. I'm not going to show you and how to install it, but I'm going to show you. It's good. It goes for the rest of these things, though. But what this H command does, um, this one, if you have Supernatural, right, um, and you hate the glow on, like, the objects, right, and the lamps and all that when the lights are on and everything, the lunar moon, um, this will just remove the, the glow on it, the, the glow effect on it and also bring HQ with the like high quality with it in case and this shows pictures of it um non H a nine high quality and good high quality you see the difference there more better right and then the top eyes see the eyebrows they bring more difference original HQ and you see the eyes has more better quality on them and then the see you see how it's more makes the skin more better makes it only make only does it for um the sims not any like any objects uh, it's only for sims okay so just to check guys new um and then you can start dialing whatever version the patch for here you only, you only can choose one guys not two okay and just if you in case if you get some problems running through and installing it and all that you know it'll help you out here and in the comments down below right there so yeah, you know, you can just download whatever version. I am still <laughs> one point sixty three. Um, I would recommend just getting this one in case, and you start downloading, open it up, and then you can click and drag it in here because you need this one as a backup as well. HQ mod, and it would just rename this one as 
uh, uh, what is, okay, whatever. It's, you know, you can just rename it wherever mod you got it there for, yeah. So, and then once you're done, you're going to drag this one right there, okay. And then the graphics will use copy it. Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. <laughs> copy this HQ mod because this is the one I got from this site. You're going to go to your, wherever you down to Sims 3, 2, electronic cards, to the future, sorry. Game, band, and then you're going to click replace, paste, and then you can click copy and paste, and then the done is going to be downloading. Not downloading, well, you're, you're done, and then that's it. So, yeah, I'm just going to cancel it because I don't want it because I use the application one. And yeah, so that's all the HQ mods now. And if you want a good, more, better tutorial than mine, go. Then I'll put a link on annotation on the screen right now until the video ends. Um, to, um, what's it called? It, uh, I forgot. Bleeding Skittles, um, tutorial on how to install the HQM. It's probably a better, um, tutorial than mine. So, yeah. And she'll probably tell you more on stuff. So, yeah. And it's also a site where I'll show you right now. Um, if you want better pictures of how the HCMI changes the game. Um, let's see here. Mm, yeah. HCMI. Okay. Um, and then this, this, it's also this tutorial in here to show you. But this is just how I did this in case if you don't want to do this and all that. And if you want to redirect, these are just some pictures. Um, and yeah, uh, let's see here, let's get, zoom in real quick, oh sh sorry, sorry guys, oh my god, my, my freaking keyboard's messed up, okay, let me just, uh, reset to default, so this is just we without HQ, and this is just with HQ, you see the difference between the, the hair, and then the eyebrows, and the, the lips, my better, right, these are for the girls, you see, it's more better, you, we, we we could read the comments and all that, sorry. <laughs> and I'll put the link this one down below in the description. So you can just go there as well if you want a better tutorial on it. So yeah. Um and yeah, so that's must be it. This feels pretty fast guys, but make sure I'll, I'll put the link for this one in the description in case if you delete the original HK mod the original graphics roll down file, it'll be in the description. You can download this one and you know just replace it with the HK mod and you know. So Hope you guys can find this um, tutorial helpful. If you need any help, I'll be in the comments reading your questions and your concerns down below. And yeah. So, hope you guys have a good day. Um, happy simming, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Um, check out my other videos. And hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And uh, there will be one more video and showing you my updated CC um, items after I'm done doing this video so be on the lookout for that and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys all later in my next video. Bye guys.